Hi, I'm Dale Doherty, founder of Maker Fair, and I'm here in Newcastle at, at the Maker Fair UK on a Sunday, the second day of, of the fair, and we're going to walk around and visit some of the makers who are here uh, and see some of the best things that I, I saw yesterday. We have to make our way past the Daleks. <laughs> nice little project here. This is using conductive ink. The circuit is really mapped out in paint instead of wires. Conductive paint in a pen, in a jar as well. You can use the pen as a liquid wire or a cold solder to literally draw a circuit on any surface. So you can get it on your hands, no solvents. That's really nice. Thank you, Becky. Great, thanks, Dale. Hi there. How you doing? How are you? Nice to meet you. What's wrong with you today? Oh, I, I think it is. We've been busy fighting battles in the outer rim. Uh-huh. This way or that way? Uh, I think we... Yeah. Hey, we just stop here for a moment, though. Every Maker Fair around the world has a Learn to Solder area. It's important. We see Maker Fair as a place where you get introduced into the practices of making. And one of the ones that's just surprisingly fun for many people is to learn to solder. This is the Mad Lab area. We have another one over here run by uh, Mitch and Jimmy. So we have the, the hackerspace map here. Let's see, the white pins mean members and blacks are, are just people that live in the area. So it's a nice, uh, nice way of seeing about 37, 39 different spaces. This is uh, Dominic Murrow, and uh, Dominic's at the Nottingham. Nottingham Hackspace. Nottingham Hackspace. Right. This is the first thing we've ever really done as Hackspace Foundation. The idea being just to help um, people who are interested in Hackspaces find uh, each other and local Hackspaces. We've never really put it on a map before and it's interesting to see where they are and, and, and which areas where are, they are where they are. Exactly, more so where they are. So I, I thought I'd just pick up a copy of Make and show you. So th this is what I do. Make Magazine, uh, and really it, it is what gave birth to Maker Fair. Um, Make started in 2005, and our first fair came in 2006. This is our newest issue on open ROV, our uh, underwater exploration. One of the really cool things at Maker Fair UK is a, a real uh, focus on DIY bio. Uh, it brought people from Croatia, from Paris, from Brooklyn, New York, uh, who are doing this and, and to showcase it here. And it's really great to see this area kind of get a boost. You want to start with the Gen Space stuff? Hi guys, tell me what you're doing here in general. Can you hear him? We're actually painting with bacteria. So we have several naturally occurring strains that produce really brilliant pigments. People have been taking our bacterial paint brushes. They've been actually drawing on these dishes. They've been painting with uh, sort of invisible ink. In a week's time, the ink starts to grow. It's actually alive. And uh, their image actually starts to appear on the dish. We also have over here wet pong. A living pong game. A dish of uh, paramecium. With paramecium or what? Uh, they're microorganisms. Okay. They live in the bottom of ponds. We actually are controlling them with a controller over there, left, right, up, down. And you can get them to swim up and down, left and right, under the microscope, using a, an electric charge. So are, are you attracted towards the charge? They're attracted to the charge itself. You can definitely do that at home. All you need is a webcam, an Arduino, and a little kit. It's basically a stage for the paramecium to sit in. Hi there. Good, how are you doing? Hi, Dale Doherty with Make Magazine. So we have this on the cover of the new magazine. Yeah. No, I've just I've nearly finished it, so we sort of had this in the pool this morning while the lights went out. So yeah. we built that one two years ago. Wow. So that one's been in the sea. So it's all plumbing bits. Yeah. Keep the cost going down. This idea of being able to see underwater and explore, you've got motion, you've got a different environment, you've got to control it. So good stuff here.
you know, there's going to be about 100 maker fairs around the world this year, and uh, even this weekend, there's one in Shenzhen, China, which is kind of a manufacturing capital for China. And uh, at the same time, there's one here in Newcastle. And, and yet, I, I actually think uh, when I go to visit them, no matter whether they're in Asia, or Europe, or United States, they, they still have the same maker spirit of, of people doing things, sharing it. Um, and I, you see things you just don't see every day. Simmons, and we're all responsible for this in different ways, but you're, you're responsible for, for, I think, bringing this here and developing it over. It's the, it's the fourth year here, right? It's the fourth year, yes. yes. I mean, uh, Center for Life has uh, put this together. What's your feeling this year? Oh, it's really good. Isn't it? I love the vibe. It's, yes. It's, it's, again, every year it gets better. This year we've got much more of the sort of craft things, yes. uh, a much wider range of stuff happening, yes. so uh, I'm really pleased. You know, you begin to draw different people here, and they come sometimes just because they heard about it from a friend, and That's they don't right. know what to expect, do they? There's an all-female welding collective yes. I met yesterday who want to come next year. Yep. Somebody's talking about bringing a portable iron foundry. <laughs> wow, we haven't got anything like that this year. Yeah. We haven't had anything like in the previous years. So that'll be And it exists in new. the community, right? That's this right, stuff yeah. is here, and we're kind of giving a context for it to connect together and, and really to interact with the public that might not even know they exist. And they meet each other and all sorts of synergies come out of different yeah. makers doing different yeah. things. I'd say the core idea I had around making and, and Maker Faire was to meet the people behind the project. You want to talk to the people, yeah. ask them questions. We all know those questions to ask, right? Of, hey, how'd you come up with this idea? You know, or, People turn up and they see the makers and they go, hey, they're like me, I can do that. Right. This is a great example of it here. This, you know, uh, we're going to create a robot that does knitting. And uh, yes, <laughs> and this is Andy Noyes' uh, robot. And uh, look, you turn on a switch and, and I just think it's fascinating to watch. You could do it just as a machine that does this, making it a robot and a humanoid. Uh, it gives it the personality. And, Oh, every once in a while she'll look up from her knitting and stare at us. And Andy told me yesterday it's his first Maker Fair ever, and uh, he had just heard about it, wondered if he kind of fit in here, and he certainly does. You know, this is just a great area here, quickly, the uh, sort of history of computing in, in a few tables here. Uh, let, let people see early computers, early computer games. Look at the early game of Pong here. One of the things that's really hard is to explain what Maker Fair is to people who have not been to one. And even video doesn't do a good job of necessarily capturing all that's happening because you can take this wide angle shot. You know, everywhere you see there's activities and people and, and yet you kind of have to experience it yourself to be up close and talk to the makers. You know, the scale and scope of it, even coming here, I, this, is, this is bigger than I thought, you know, here in Newcastle. So I'm headed to the uh, Science Theater here to give a talk on maybe just introduce people to making and Maker Faire. Good morning. How is everybody? I'm Dale Doherty, uh, uh, founder of Make Magazine and, and Maker Faire, uh, visiting from uh, Northern California. You know, I started Make in about Make Magazine 2005. The first Maker Fair was 2006, and uh, this year there'll be about 100 Maker Fairs around the world.